Uh, Brittany, maybe a, a time sensitive or I guess current events question for you, because I, I, I see it all, all over the place that both small and large businesses express a common uh, frustration with being able to hire enough staff for their business. What advice would you provide to a business who is struggling to hire enough people for them? Yeah, this has been um, this has been my marching orders for the past couple of years. It feels like people are asking, like, okay, both things are on fire: retention and recruitment. What do I focus on first? Um, how do I avoid setting more fires? Essentially, is what I get asked, you know, in a, in a variety of different ways. But I'll say, you know, recruitment feels um the heaviest right now for most companies because they just need you know 30 more people in the door or 300 more people in the door they just need to fill those seats but if you don't dig deep and figure out what are the controllable factors for retention for my company and those will not be the same as the company next to you not even your best competitor what are our internal factors that we can control and you build your retention program out of that then it doesn't matter how many people you let in the door because you have so many holes in your bucket that they're just gonna leak back out, especially in our hiring environment right now where they have so many reasons to leave. They haven't had this many reasons before or, or in recent history. This, these generations that we have right now haven't had so much opportunity and reason to leave. So while recruiting can feel like the heavy thing or the thing that's the most on fire, if you take the time and the work to focus on retention, and you're not just throwing spaghetti on the wall with it. You take distinct, narrow measures. You build out your program. Then when your people come, they're more likely to stay. And you're more likely to ride out the ups and the downs of the economy in the years coming. 